Okay, so let's go ahead and add animations to our player. Open up the player script right here under the player animator and gravity. We will create a public animator. Okay, this will be a reference to our animator. And then let's go inside the player move function right here. When we are moving, okay, and we are rotating, we want to play certain animations. So that animations will be, let me tell you, first of all, type animator dot set bool and the parameter name is walk and we want that to be true when we are walking okay this is basically this walk parameter okay and when this is true as you can see it will play this walk animation okay simple as that after this we want the running to be false because when we are walking then we just simply want to walk and right here also we want the idle to be false as well because when we are walking we don't want the player to be in idle and after this we will say animator.set trigger this time because as you know that the jump is a trigger okay so we will say set trigger and we will say jump because when we are working we can also jump so that's why we will set this trigger after this let's say animator dot set pool and right here what we want to do we want the aim walk to be false and after this we will say animator dot set pool let me just copy this so that we don't have to type it again and again right here we will set the idle aim to be false as well okay after this let's add a else condition and in the else condition it means that if we are not working or dating then what we want to do when we are not working we it means that we are in the idle so first of all we will set the idle to true okay and after this we will say animator dot set trigger because if we are not working we can still jump so we will set the jump trigger and after this we want the walk to be false running to be false as well and aim walk to be false as well you can just pause the video and type all of this because typing it again and again is just a waste of time so i just want to speed up this process because it is just a simple line of code okay which we are typing again and again now when we are not walking we want the current player speed to be zero f okay right here in the previous video if you notice we set the current player speed to be the player speed okay and then when we stop working our current player speed was still equals to player speed which is 1.9 f so when we are not working we want the current player speed to be zero okay after this let's jump into our jump function and right here as you can see we said that if we press the jump button and if we are on the surface then what we want to do we will say animator dot set pool and right here we want the walk to be false because when we are jumping then we don't want to walk we just simply want to jump so we will set the jump trigger Okay, make the J capital after this when we are done jumping then we want to reset the trigger of the jump okay because we don't want to jump again and again so for that we use this reset trigger okay animator dot reset trigger jump after this let's run towards our sprint function and this is similar to the walk one okay 
but the only change in here will be that we will set the running true and idle walk and idle am false after this when we are not sprinting or you can say running then what we want to do we want the idle to be false and the walk to be false as well and simply we want the current player sprint to be zero okay when we are not running we want this to be zero and we will add the die animation but that is for the future okay for now we can just ignore that we have added the animations now let's save it right here change this from dot to that okay then save it let's change it into the scene view here is our player and now right here as you can see it needs a reference to the animator so just simply drag and drop the animator and guys you will notice that when we play the game you will notice one thing that it will play the work animation just for once as you will notice as you can see now the player is stopped now if we try to run as you can see he plays the run animation just for once and now if we try to jump he will play the jump animation again and again because we are resetting the jump trigger okay so that is fine but we want the idle animation to be in loop time okay so just double click on the idle and click on loop time click apply then double click on the walk and select loop time click apply then select double click on the run click loop time and apply then the same for the aiming idle click loop time apply then shoot select loop time and apply okay we already did for the running let's select the shoot walk select loop time and apply okay let's select the aiming walk it is already in loop time and the recharge okay we just want that to be just for once and the dead is okay as well okay so just make the idle walk run aiming walk shoot walk shoot and aiming idle in loop time okay and now if we play the game it will play the animation in a loop okay you will notice as you can see he is playing the idle animation as you will notice that when this is finished it will play again as you can see okay now if we try to walk as you can see we are walking perfectly as you can notice let's run we can run as well we can jump as you can see okay now let's run in the environment the environment seems a little bit bigger than the player okay don't worry we don't have the mesh collider on this thing so that's why it just run inside it okay we will apply the mesh collider to it don't worry okay the environment is a little bit too big so we will resize the environment but we will do that in the upcoming video for now you notice how the animation works now if we put this right here okay and then try to play the animation you will notice the animation changing accordingly okay now as you can see the idle is true now let us just walk as you can see the walk is being true now if we try to run so just hold down the shift button and w as you can see now running is true now if we try to jump as you can see it jumps it plays the animation as you can see okay so our animations are working for the player now we have the rifle animation so in the upcoming videos we will work on the player rifle we will allow the player to shoot so catch you guys in the next one